Okay, welcome one and all. I am feeling much better after a bit of a hiatus. Uh, I had a rough cold, and I don't think anyone would want to hear me speak into the microphone at that during that time. Uh, I would say I'm about 80% better now. You still might notice a little bit of uh, grinding in my voice, but... Once I'm a little bit better, well, it's it's time, man. It's time for four-player chess. So here we go. Uh, I have a friend request. Let's accept it. Uh, so I've been getting some feedback in the comments of the videos, and I appreciate uh, everyone who's leaving that. Um, I have responded to a few comments, and. Uh, well, there were a few comments that I think were a bit silly. You know, people asking questions that they could easily answer themselves. So, so I left that to you. Uh, checking the leaderboard out. Let's see what's going on now. Okay, so we're still around 1850, holding steady. And 1800 for the bottom. Okay, I'm going first. So, uh, what I'm going to try today is just to do a very quick castling opening and then push pawns until they can no longer be pushed. It's often not good to castle quickly, but I just want to see how it works. Okay, and already I can see that blue is not letting me develop a bishop on this diagonal, and green is not letting me develop a bishop on this diagonal, so that should be or could be a point of contention. Green is also rushing a queen. Now, I could have started by rushing a queen as well, uh, since I went first. I think when you go first, that's the best time to rush a queen, because anyone who responds to you is not going to be able to get there as fast as you. Uh, and you will always have the advantage, like say if I move my queen pawn, then queen moves his queen pawn, I'll have the advantage to trade bishops before he does. Um, however, I am sort of against any kind of trading of bishops early, so I would not want to be either color in that case, if bishops had to be traded. Okay, blue is gunning for this pawn. I will block. Okay, interesting openings coming out from blue and green here. There's a lot of pieces attacking this square. Luckily, I already have four pieces defending it, so that's fine. Um, and now that blue has moved away from this diagonal, I will Fianchetto. Okay, it looks like yellow is doing something similar to me, except he's getting to push more pawns because there aren't people attacking him. And looks like green's going to keep pushing and go for another queen, so... I'm a little confused by that, as I can just take it. Anything wrong with that? No, I don't think so. So let's just take that. Okay, I think yellow has a decent position now, but he always has to be careful because he moved his F-pawn and then castled kingside. So uh, yellow... We'll definitely need to watch out for checks along this diagonal, especially from green, who's on his left. So, my prediction would be that if he doesn't get his king over to d14 before moving this pawn, he's going to lose some material. Alright, and now green is offering me a rook. Uh, yeah, sure. And he could try my bishop, but it will take him many turns to capture it. Um, I 
it does feel a bit like I'm being targeted here by by blue and green. Uh, I'm gonna leave the bishop there for now and start getting ready some defense. I'm gonna try to swing my knight over to this square. I1, so that I have two pieces covering each uh, K2 here. So with the bishop to cover the dark squares here and two knights to cover this light square, um, should be okay, though now green is trying to trade even more. Um, Uh, it's so annoying because no one else is in a position to attack him, so if I trade a piece, there's no one else who can take a piece as well. Um, but I'm, I have to sort of trade here now. Now yellow's just making queens and blue is just uh, dirtling over here, so... Um, it's sort of bad that I'm getting into a fight with green, but I, there's nothing I could have done about it, so I'll just do my best from here on out. Say at the moment, I'm definitely not a favorite to win. And Green wants to trade another piece. I mean, this one I could prevent, right? Uh, I can move the knight away. But then he checks me anyway. So again, I have to trade. And blue and green just continue to move pawns. Okay, that's good. So now blue is finally getting punished a bit, anyway. Um, this knight should come back. Alright, well, I'm not happy I didn't get many of those points, because I was the one trading with green the whole time, but at least he's dead, so he can't bother me anymore. Uh, yellow has to take this, so I suppose I could also threaten that. No, okay, I don't want to open up my king that much. Now it would be really nice if I still had this pawn, this k-pawn, so I could roll it and make a queen over here where there's nothing to contest. Okay, I'm also a little bit worried because I don't have a dark squared bishop here anymore. Alright, but now the important thing is going to be making queens. Since the board is smaller, or as one fewer player. So I need to decide which pawns can become queens here. And I think I'm going to start by moving this pawn because uh, it's behind this great uh, blue pawn. The blue pawn cannot attack it, but I can attack him. I can also open up the file for this rook. So now blue has to decide how to defend this pawn early by moving this knight and letting the bishop defend. Would be my guess. Right. So I can make a choice if I st whether I still want to take that or not. Probably not. At least for now. Um, and let's get a little bit more control of the center here, I guess. Okay, now blue is letting himself be checked a bit.
The other is making a second edition of Queen. I'm not trying to attack blue right now, uh, even though I could because... I think we both need to work together to attack yellow at the moment. All right, yellow can just start rolling these three pawns now and make a fourth, fifth, and sixth queen. So if yellow, if blue is work, willing to work together with me, I'll work together with him. Right, we both only have one queen. So and if you add us together, we still have fewer queens than yellow right now. Okay. And yellow's gonna double up here and attack me, because why not? So, since I don't have a dark squared bishop, I have to be a bit careful. So this h-pawn looks like it could roll forward now. So that's what I'm going to try and do next. I don't know what blue's doing, man. He can just be captured there now. Oh, I guess that was a checkmate threat. Okay. Uh, he sort of castled into that, though, so... Not sure whether that was a good strategy. But if he can get a bishop back to this diagonal, bishop in front of this king, he should be okay. So if yellow takes this rook, he should be okay. He's also threatening to take a knight down. Alright, so I'll defend the threat against me. Well, let's see. Yeah, you know, so here's the problem. I basically have to let yellow capture this bishop and open up my king. But we'll see if he thinks blue is more important to deal with yet right now or not. <clears throat> I don't really mind trading this bishop for a fake queen, but if I also have to ruin my pawn structure, then that's a bit annoying. Alright, good. So, blue got to chip away at yellow, and I did not get attacked as severely as I could have been. So that's good. Again, I'm still not going to attack blue, because I think blue is you know, doing the Lord's work right now and assisting with dealing with yellow. And I think he has also realized that he needs to do so. So let's see, two more squares for this pawn. Wondering if yellow will try and stop this promotion. I think I have to assume that he will, so I have to double up before I continue to push. Now blue has protected this pawn. So, looking okay right now, if yellow doesn't come to this file anyway. If he does, then I will just double up, and I can even triple up the next turn if I need to. So. Okay, so yellow is protecting that. Promotion, square, Okay, good. Good. So blue trading out with yellow, that's basically the best thing that could happen. And the other thing to watch is the points total here. So, you know, if I let blue checkmate yellow, 
then I could be out of a way to win. But it looks like the main yellow threat has been neutralized now. Okay, though I do need to get back to making queens. It's a little curious that Yellow sacrificed two queens for a pawn and a rook. I mean, he got more points out of it because they were both fake queens, but I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps it was. Perhaps it was a strategy to simply cash in while he could, and make it look like he's losing now. I have seen some stuff like that be advantageous. In rare circumstance, you know, if you get ahead on points, you can sort of afford to give away some material and make it look like you're weak. But I don't recommend it in most cases. Uh, not here. They need to watch my time as well. I would like to start attacking these yellow pawns. They do scare me quite a bit. And let's ask Blue about this pawn now. Hmm. Seems she's not all that interested in keeping it. So now it would seem that yellow is suiciding, trying to get a number of points before he loses his king, I suppose. Okay, we cannot suicide for points yet because we're still way off from a, from the target in points, we're being beaten by both players. So we still need to play the the normal game. Check on to yellow. Okay, I'm going to start trying to promote this pawn now. And then these two are also passed now because I killed some of those pawns. So let's see where I can go with this. I could also throw a check on yellow, but I don't I don't really want yellow to die that fast. I don't want to speed up his death anyway. Um because if if he dies right now I will lose is because blue will just instantly resign. In fact I'll be third. So that's sort of the worst situation right that could happen right now. And if I do check right here, right now, then blue can simply check and check that will be checkmate. So now I need to take out Blue's Queen so that both of them are basically immobile and will have trouble checkmating the other. So if I can trade this newly made Queen for Blue's Queen, that would be optimal. Okay, and he went into that corner, so is this checkmate? Let's just make sure. Uh, no, he can still block with the rook. Um, but should I should I do it anyway? There's no way I think for blue to checkmate in one move. So it looks like I'll still get the checkmate. Oh, that's not true. No, uh, blue could have made it in there by taking here, and then he wouldn't be able to get out of the double check. Okay, but this should be checkmate anyway. So, yeah, I made a huge mistake. I should have just maybe gobbled up these few pawns over here and tried to trade out with blue, trade for his queen. But instead I made a mistake. 
However, blue did not take advantage, so that's good. Oops, I thought that was okay in the Daigo. Alright, but it looks like I'm either capturing this knight or... I guess you could defend with the pawn. Yeah. Um, I'll try to be a little bit annoying here. And you can kind of see that knights in this game are not really all that useful. Something I wanted to talk about for, or I have been wanting to talk about for a while. Knights are best on defense because by the time you get a knight all the way over to the other side of the board to attack someone, or even like from here to here, it's just not worth it anymore. The one exception would be if, say, you know, your knights are over here protecting your king and then the other guy's castle right, directly next to you. Uh, it might just be able to, you might be able to 1v1 them with, with knights. And I'm still, I'm still against moving my knights over to attack this guy. <laughs> Even in a 1v1 situation, there's just faster ways to do it. Of course, as I'm saying that, I'm starting to eat my words because I am bringing my knights over. I guess if I was winning by a bit more, I wouldn't. But I do sort of need this knight to shore up this side and hold this pawn. And the important thing here is going to be to not drop pieces and to just take it slow, though not time-wise, I mean positionally. Time-wise, I still need to move fast. Okay. And at this point, I think I have enough points to simply resign. Uh, but let's just not resign, because I'm not 100% sure, and I don't have enough time to think about it. And this is sort of a position I don't think I could lose, so... Be careful now, this pawn. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. I guess I could still resign here, huh? If he has 40 now, he goes up to 60 if I resign. And yellow will still be at 43, so yeah, let's just resign. All right, so there we go. Uh, that's one win under the belt. I know my rating dropped a bit. I couldn't resist playing a few games while I was sick, and you know, in between blowing my nose and taking medicine, I I dropped a bit. Anyway, thanks for watching it. I'm gonna play one more just now after this.